Hi everybody, it's Bobby from Fifth Avenue Cakes and today I'm going to show you how to create a stucco effect flower pot with some beautiful rural icing accents. So let's begin. We will be making a series of very small toothpick roses using a stiff consistency icing and a 101S Wilton tip. Pipe your bud onto your toothpick. Then while turning your toothpick counterclockwise, pipe three additional petals. Clean up the bottom portion of your toothpick just so the icing doesn't build up. Finish your miniature rose by piping five more petals onto your toothpick rows while turning it, your toothpick counterclockwise. Again, clean up the bottom with a little bit of cornstarch and a small brush. Release the, to the toothpick and the flower onto a little piece of parchment paper and open the petals up. Now we're also going to pipe some grapes. So with a little bit of lilac royal icing and off-peak consistency icing, we will be piping a series of grapes. You will need four grape clusters for this project per cookie. To pipe the grapes, just pipe a series of teardrops that connect and alternate on either side and come over. So you have your two and then you'll bring one over. Then with a lilac pearl luster dust and a little bit of Everclear on the thick side, you will go ahead and paint your grapes to bring out a pop of color. If you find that it is still a little bit too thick, just add some more Everclear. The grapes should dry in a matter of seconds. Now to create the stucco with blood consistency icing in a tipless bag, in a square brush, pipe of line of your flood consistency and then stipple the icing by pouncing on the icing after you've piped your small line. Continue working your icing all the way up the little flower part, pot. You should start to notice that the bottom part, the first part that you went ahead and stippled, is starting to dry. Allow this to dry for about five minutes before moving on to the next step. Once your stippling is done and dry, you can add in some color for definition. I am using a mushroom colored petal dust and using a camera 
blow tool to just blow off the excess dust. Lightly add in your petal dust. You just want to make some shadows around the stucco that you have created. Do this slowly as you can always add more color in but cannot take the color out. Now with a number two tip and off-peak consistency icing, we're going to pipe in some pressure pipe five petal blossoms. Pipe in a series of teardrops in a blossom shape, releasing pressure as you come to the edge so it indents. Repeat on the other side. Create a series of three. And then with a little bit of yellow royal icing, pipe a bead in the center. With, a, with green soft peak consistency icing, bring in your stems. Don't worry too much how they look. Most of the part of the stems will be covered with other flowers. This is a guide to show you where to put everything else. Now bring in a cluster of your roses. Place a little bit of royal icing on the bottom of your roses and begin to arrange them. Here I've chosen to do mostly pink with one little lilac miniature rose in the center. Now we'll add in our grapes. With a little bit of royal icing, attach it to the top part of your flower pot. Two on one side and another pair on the other side. With your green soft peak pearl icing, go ahead and pressure pipe in some leaves for the top of your grape of your grapes. Bring the leaves over the lips so it appears to be coming out from the flower pot. Use a damp brush to pull out a little vein. Go ahead and add in your miniature blossoms. If you need a refresher on how to pipe blossoms, please click the picture in the corner and it will take you over to that video. Add in your second set of blossom sprays. The blossoms and the roses were both piped with the 101 Wilton nozzle. Now 
Now go ahead and pipe in a small vein connecting the blossoms to the rose. Be sure to give your vein a little bit of a curve for, natural, for a natural look. And then begin to pipe in some leaves around your roses and on your veins. You can use a damp brush to bring out the vein in the middle of the leaf. The cookie was created using a cupcake cookie cutter to make the flower pot with flowers. Thank you for watching everyone and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.